your loved one are facing felony criminal charges in the state of California, you might have heard the term felony settlement conference, also known as a felony readiness conference. In this video, we're going to break down what exactly those are, where they're held, what happens, what you need to know as the client or the loved one of the client, certain things also like what you should be wearing, what you could expect to happen, how long they take, what comes next, and what the end goal of each felony settlement conference or felony readiness conference should be. Hope you enjoy, hope you find it valuable. All right, so we keep using this term felony settlement conference or felony readiness conference. Let's define it. Readiness conference or a settlement conference is in between your arraignment, your first court date, and your preliminary hearing in a felony case. So the arraignment's the first court date. You go in, you enter a not guilty plea. What dates do you want to come back? That's the same whether you're in custody or whether you're out of custody, on bail, on your own recognizance, whatever the case may be. And then your next date, more often than not, will be this felony settlement conference. Downtown, you're dealing with the 11th floor of the downtown state courthouse. In Chula Vista, you're dealing with Department 14. In Vista, you're dealing with Department 5 or Department 6. And in El Cajon, you're dealing with Department 2 or 11. So the purpose of it, in many ways, is like a status where your attorney, the district attorney, and the judge will sit down in a room and they'll say, okay, what's going on with this case? Can it settle? Should it settle? Will it eventually settle? Or is it a case that needs to go to preliminary hearing and potentially eventually to trial? A lot of times the end goal of a readiness conference would be you confirm the preliminary hearing. Hey, we wanna go forward with this hearing that we had previously set. We want to set a new readiness conference date, so maybe you continue it. Maybe if the case goes really well, it could get potentially dismissed, or sometimes the case can resolve by way of a negotiated plea bargain at a readiness conference, and then it sort of stops the proceeding and your next court date will likely be your sentencing. All right, so at this point, we know what a felony readiness conference or a settlement conference is, but why does it matter? Well, it matters a lot, right? Because in many times, the felony readiness conference or settlement conference is the first time that judge will learn about you, will learn about your case, because more often than not, the first judge at your first court appearance at the arraignment is not gonna be the judge that's gonna be handling this readiness conference or the settlement conference. So it's a good opportunity for you through your attorney to make a positive impression on this judge who may very well be seeing this case for the first time to set the tone moving forward. Also to show the district attorney, the judge, anyone and everyone in that courtroom, in the judge's chambers or in that meeting room, that you know this case, that you know your client from an attorney's perspective as well, if not better than anyone possibly can. So it is essential that your attorney, one, knows what they're doing, two, knows who the key players are in that room and what may placate or what certain judges, what certain district attorneys may like to see compared to others to make sure they maximize your case's chances of success to have a successful readiness conference or settlement conference, whether there's gonna be future ones down the road or whether your case is able to be favorably resolved at the first one wherever that location may be. All right, so when does a felony settlement conference or readiness conference occur and where? Well, it depends on where the case is gonna be heard. So we're talking about state court in this video within San Diego County. So if your case is downtown at your arraignment, you're gonna have a readiness conference set. It's gonna be on the 11th floor of the downtown courthouse located on the corner of Union and C Street. It's 1100 Union Street, and it's actually gonna be on the 11th floor. So you're gonna be in 1101, 1102, or 1103, and there's different judges for each department. And for all future settlement conferences or readiness conferences, you're gonna be in that 1101, 1102, 1103 department for all purposes. If you're located in East County, your case more importantly is located in East County, then you're gonna be at the El Cajon Courthouse, you're gonna be in Department Two before your preliminary hearing, and if the case goes that far past the preliminary hearing, more likely than not, you're gonna be in Department 11, there's a chance you could be back in Department Two. If you're in Vista before a preliminary hearing, you're gonna be in Department Six, if your case survives a preliminary hearing, you're gonna be in Department 5 for your felony readiness or settlement conference. And finally, if you're in Chula Vista, you're gonna be in Department 14 for all felony readiness or settlement conferences. Now, obviously there are some rare exceptions if your case may be pre-assigned to a judge for certain circumstances, but for the most part, that's where your case is gonna be heard. It's gonna be in the morning. It's going to be at 8.30. It is essential that you communicate where you're going, when you're expected to be there, in order to maximize your case's chance of success. All right, so what happens at these felony settlement conferences or readiness conferences? Well, from about 8.30 until about 10 o'clock in the morning, usually it's like herding cattle, I usually tell our clients, because you're dealing with defense attorneys, you're dealing with district attorneys, you're dealing with judges, and sometimes it's a struggle to get everyone in the same room 
at the same time. And clients often will ask, hey, you know, I'm sitting here in the hallway. What are you guys doing back there? Let me tell you. So we're sitting there in the judge's office and you're trying to get a match. So I may be there on number four on the calendar and my prosecutor may be in a different department. Sometimes I may be coming from a different department, but when you have a match, you let the judge know, hey, we're both here on the Thompson matter, case number four. Judge may say something like, okay, what are we doing today? Now, sometimes you go into a readiness conference having everything worked out with the prosecutor. What's going to happen? Are you going to set new dates? Are you going to possibly resolve your case? Is the case hopefully going to get dismissed or do you need to continue it? And it's an opportunity to make an impression with the judge, to make an impression with the district attorney about you as the potential client or the loved one that you're calling about or reaching out about to let you know, the prosecutor know what you're about, to let the judge know what you're about, why this case matters to you and why a certain outcome means more to you than it might mean to everybody else. Because if your attorney's back there in this readiness conference room and they don't know the case and they're fumbling through paperwork and saying, you know, DA's like, hey, tell me a little bit about your client or judge's like, tell me about him. They're like, oh, he's uh, 32 years old. Um, I I think he's working. Come on now, you're wasting your money. You're wasting your time and you're being poorly reflected based on the person that's supposed to be advocating for your best interest in that readiness room. So you wanna make sure your attorney's prepared, they know what they're doing, they know as much about you as possible to try and work out the best outcome at this readiness conference. That's the primary purpose, to move the case along, hopefully closer to where it needs to be where you could get the best outcome possible given the facts of the case. All right, so how do you as a client prepare for this felony settlement or felony readiness conference? Well, there's a couple of ways. First and foremost, it's important that you have good communication with your lawyer, with the law firm representing you, and you better make sure that you know what's gonna happen within reason at that hearing. Otherwise, you may wanna reevaluate your choice of who's representing you, right? Now, not everything's gonna be ironed out exactly how you may want it to be, to know exactly what's gonna happen, but you need to make sure that your law firm is preparing you that, hey, if this happens, this is what we're gonna do. If that happens, this is what we're gonna do. And in some instances, if things go a little sideways, which sometimes it happens, then we're gonna have a conversation and to have a game plan going into that readiness conference or settlement conference, just like you would any other court appearance. As the client or as a loved one of a client, they're supporting the client, right? Someone accused of this felony charge. You want to make sure that you know where you're going, what time you're expected to be there. And you also want to make sure that you're dressed appropriately within reason. We always tell our clients at a bare baseline, business casual, right? If you want to wear jeans, that's okay. But your shirt should have a collar. You should be dressed as fancy as possible while you're still comfortable. So if you're comfortable with a polo shirt and jeans and nice shoes, that's fine. As opposed to coming in in a three-piece suit and you're stiff, you're uncomfortable, you're not being yourself. And then it's one more level of discomfort than the whole experience may already be. So that's another conversation you really should be having with your law firm. What should I be wearing? Where am I going? How long am I going to be there? What can you expect? You need to make sure those questions are answered as they certainly should be before you walk in to court for a felony readiness or a felony settlement conference. All right, so what are some possible outcomes of this felony settlement or felony readiness conference, right? Well, the possible outcomes really depend on the facts of the case, depends on what you're trying to accomplish, depends on the level of skill set of your attorney, the experience of your attorney, what courthouse you're in, what judge you're before, who the prosecutor is. The list goes on and on and on. But realistically, as it relates to a felony readiness conference, a couple things are going to happen. In a dream situation, the case goes away right then and there. It gets dismissed, right? Admittedly, that really doesn't happen too often, but it does happen. So that's one option. Another option is on the flip side of it, the case could resolve by way of a negotiated plea bargain, whether that deals with the district attorney with the court's blessing or whether it's ultimately what's known as, quote unquote, a plea to the sheet to the judge where the judge agrees to a certain sentence, even if the district attorney doesn't approve of it. And that requires you to plead to everything you're charged with, right? So in one regard, it could be dismissed. In the other regard, you enter a plea to something and then you have your sentencing usually about three to six weeks out, depending on the case. Sometimes it's immediate in the rare situation. Other times you may say, hey, you know, we need some more time. We want to come back in two weeks. We want to come back in two months to effectuate the terms of this outcome or do whatever we need to do. Or maybe you're waiting on discovery. In that case, you go in and you get a continuance and you set new dates. Another outcome of a felony readiness or a felony settlement conference is you will confirm or reset your preliminary hearing date 
where the district attorney needs to put on enough evidence for the charges to survive against you. And they do that by way of testimony, sort of like a Reader's Digest or an abridged version of what the ultimate case would be against you if the case goes to trial. So in summary, it gets dismissed, you plead guilty, it gets continued, or you reset or confirm the preliminary hearing. Those are really the most common outcomes of what you could expect walking out of a felony readiness conference long before you walk in. All right, so in this video, we covered a lot about a felony readiness or a felony settlement conference, particularly here in San Diego, California. We talked about what they are. We talked about where they are. We talked about what the purpose of those readiness conferences are. And one thing really to take away, if you're gonna take one thing, hopefully more than that, but if you're gonna take one thing away from it is to be prepared, not just you as the accused or the supporter of the accused, but make sure the law firm, the attorney you hire is prepared because we've seen it over and over again, the way an attorney without the skill set, but more importantly, without the level of preparation and familiarity with the key players at a readiness conference or a settlement conference, will just get walked on. And more important than how the attorney feels about their ego or acting like a fool or getting humiliated because they're not prepared, the worst part is seeing the consequences to you, the potential client, because the attorney you didn't hire was not prepared, didn't have the skill set, didn't know the key players. So preparation really cannot be overstated moving forward, right? We're big on that. It is essential to maximize your chances, case of success, and even a readiness conference when you're confirming dates, or you're setting new dates, there's always something you could accomplish, whether you plant a seed about a potential outcome as far as dealing with the district attorney a certain way or saying certain things or not saying certain things. So you wanna make sure the person that's going in that room for that hour, that hour and a half before you see the judge knows what they're doing and you could trust them because they in many ways are the greatest representation of you that the court, that the district attorney will ever see. And that starts at a felony readiness conference, particularly when you're dealing with the felony case in San Diego County. All right, so if you found this video helpful, what can you do? Well, the first thing is, if you know someone going through this, whether yourself or somebody else, share that information with them because it is important to understand what your rights are, to understand what your options are moving forward so you can make the best decision for you moving forward. If you know someone going through it, share it with them. Tell them about it. Hey, your law firm might not be telling you, your attorney might not be telling you, check out this video. Get some more information to make informed decisions about what you wanna to do to protect your freedom, to protect your future. You gotta know your rights, but you also gotta know the process.